Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? So, um, let's start uh, solving this question. So, this is simultaneous equation. So, simultaneous equation means you have you got two letters which is unknown. S S T T. So now, how we solve this? Very very easy. So they say uh, consider the following system of equation. System of equation. Find the value of S and T, which is gonna satisfy the above system of equation. So now, uh, now let's see how we solve. Very very easy. So what you do? Solution. So you take your two s and then minus t equal to six, and the second one is three s and then plus four t equal to negative two. So the trick is very easy. You know what I'm saying? Look, uh, if you got a lot of letters, you want to get rid of one letter. So this is what you do: put your curly bracket, and then you see this is two, and this is three. Make them same. So what is the common number for both two and three? Six. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, which number should I put here when I multiply is going to give me, and whichever number I'm going to put here is going to give me the same number. <clears throat> so I'll say here 3, and here is going to be 2, because if I take 3 times 3 equal to 6, and 2 times 3 equal to 6. So that's my intention. I just want the number when I multiply for both, it must be same. So the intention, because you want to eliminate. Wow, well, so now let's multiply now. 3 times 2 equal to 6x, and the minus. 3 times t because you must multiply throughout even though our intention is here but you multiply for all the line so 3 times t equals 2 3t equal to 3 times 6 equal to 18 now we go for the second one 2 times 3 6s and then we got plus 2 times 4 8t equal to 2 times 2 negative 2 equal to negative 4 so you see the game is over you know what i'm saying why did i make them to be equal because i want to eliminate so how are you going to eliminate? Look, I'll just say minus because this is 6t minus 6t. So now we minus underline this way, like going this way. Now we go 6s minus 6x, you get zero. Now we go for the second one. Look, negative 3t, make sure you involve the sign. Negative 3t minus plus 8t. Look, negative 3t minus minus positive 8t, positive 8 so you see plus and minus minus a t because when the sign are different we get different negative 3 t so now what happened negative 3 t minus 80 t equal to negative 11 t oh so now this is going to give us negative 11 t equal now we do the same thing here 18 minus negative 4 18 minus minus 4 so minus minus plus 4 18 equal 22 22. Oh, so 0 minus anything is that something. So negative 11 t equal to 22. So we want to get rid of, uh, we want to get the value of t. Divided by 11, divided by negative 11. This is the score. So t equal to, uh, this is positive. Positive and negative, negative. How many 11, 22? There are 2. Oh, so we got the value of t. t equal to negative 2. So if you got t equal to negative 2, take this value and either you can substitute in this and all this, whichever one you want. To get the value of s so t equal to negative 2 so i can substitute either this or this okay let me take the face one doesn't matter whichever is going to give the same value so say 2 s minus what is that t t put your bracket is negative 2 equal to 6 so negative and negative plus 2 equal to 6 and this is 2 s 2 go over so 2 s equal to 6 minus 2 equal to 4 equal to 2 s divided by 2 divided by 2 so s equal to 2. Oh, so t equal to negative 2, s equal to 2. It's awesome. So t equal to negative 2. And our s equal to 2. So we go to the option t negative 2. t negative 2 is this. And s equal to 2, this so option 1. So that's how you solve. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let me show you. Uh, let's say, <coughs> excuse me. Let's say you want to start with, uh, with, uh, with t. Excuse me, coughing a little bit, man. So we downloaded option one, but let me show you another way that you can do this question. So let's say you are forced. To, so this is our question. Let's say you you are forced to start with eliminating t. You know what I'm saying? Because we started with eliminating s. Now let's say, oh, you know what? Start getting the value of t. So now we say, okay. So another one could have done this and say, okay, so I want t to start face to go. So the t must be the same, but so this is 4t. Okay, I'm gonna make these to be 4t, this. 
Oh, I must multiply by negative four. Look, you focus on this because your intention you might make them the same. This is negative four t. This is to make it as a four t. I must multiply this by negative four t. Okay, but this one is fine. It's just four t because your intention you want to make them the same. So now when you multiply, you multiply through other line. So negative four times two s is going to give us negative eighty s because negative four times two eight and then s but it's negative. Negative and negative positive. 4 times t, 4 t equal to 4, negative 4 times c, negative 24. I count for the second one, 3s, because there was no need for any number, let's say 1 plus 4 t equal to negative 2. So you see now, your intention, you want to eliminate t. So now, how t is going to go? I mean, this is positive 4 t and this positive 4 t means we have to say negative here, because if I say 4 t minus 4 t equal to 0. So now we go, okay, let's settle this one. Negative 8s minus 3s. Negative 8s minus 3s. So this is going to give us negative 11s. Negative 11s. Now, 40 minus 40 equal to 0. So I don't have to write 0. Equal negative 22 minus minus 2. So this is going to give us plus and the minus 22. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So now this, uh, my problem, this is 24, my problem, 24 minus, minus, minus 2. So it's 24, sorry, my problem. So now the sign is different, no, so sign is different, so minus 22, negative 24 plus 2 equal to negative 22. Oh, so it's negative 22. So we want to get the value of x, how are we going to get s? Because we want to get this along, divide by negative 11, divide by negative 11. This is a goal, so s equal to negative and negative, we get positive. How many 11, 22? There are two. So a is equal to two. So since you got a is equal to two, so we can take this value of a and substitute anywhere in these two. Okay, now let me just decide it for now. Let me use the second one. So the second one we got three. I'm not gonna write a anymore because the normal value of a is equal to two. So two plus 14 equal to negative two. So I wanna get the value of t. Three times two equal to six plus 14 equal to negative two. Go over. So this is going to be 40 equal to this is negative 2. This positive 6, when you go over, it's going to become negative 6. Okay. So now we get 14 equal to negative 2 minus 6 equal to negative 8 divided by 4 divided by 4. This and this cancel. So t equal to negative 2. Oh, t equal to negative 2. So same again. S equal to 2 and t equal to negative 2. We know what I'm which is the same answer. So, at the end of the day, this is how you solve simultaneously, and this method we call it by elimination. This is elimination method. There is another method, it's called substitution, <coughs> but if you want more, uh, because this is like a taste, people say to me, this is by elimination. This method I just show you is called solving by elimination. Elimination. But there is another way, it's called by substitution, which I'm going to show you later. So, thanks a lot for your time. You know what I'm saying? If it's the first time, like I said, you know what to do, man. Peace. Follow me on Instagram. Leave the comments. I believe you learn from me. You know, you learn from me. You learn from uh, how I solve the things. My mistakes. Peace and love. I love you guys.